Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. I'm back again with professor and author Chan Noriega, who helped to program our line of films, a true expert on how Latinas have been portrayed in the movies. Welcome back. Oh, thank you, Robert. It's great to be here. Good to have you here. Now, next we have a very impressive ensemble drama from 1995, written and directed by Gregory Nava. It's called Mi Familia, or My Family. Let's talk about this. Why did you want to include this? Well, this is a, a significant film as uh, one, uh, just a sweeping epic covering 60 years. Uh, it begins uh, with some location scenes shot in Michoacan, Mexico, uh, and then covers the, the uh, path of a family over the next three generations. And the, the truly amazing thing is it was made on a budget of five and a half million dollars, which was less money than La Bamba had 10 years earlier. Uh, so it's really a tribute to the, uh, to the production team of uh, Anna Thomas and, and Greg Nava, as well as everyone else that worked on the film, to really give it an epic look. Um, the, the film is notable because it really marks a decisive shift among uh, uh, Chicano and Latino filmmakers to move away from historical dramas and genre films and begin looking at the family, and in particular to look at a multi-generational large family as itself a cross-section of the Latino community. And I think it's a very interesting uh, shift that takes place. We're still seeing some elements of that uh, in other films that have come out. Um, and you, you shift away from the idea of trying to represent a very broad uh, community uh, in the terms that Hollywood typically does, which mm -hmm. is through an individual. And instead, you look at a family that is itself internally diverse. And then this one has an ex-con, an ex-nun, a writer, a lawyer, a housewife, a pachuco. Uh, it, it covers the full uh, gamut of what you would expect to find within the community itself. Uh, anything we should look for in this film particularly? Well, I think there are a few things. Besides One, Jennifer Lopez? <laughs> yes, she's early. You'll see her early in the film. Yeah. Um, I think what's amazing about the film is, in addition to the epic scale of it, is it brings a lot of Latino actors uh, into the industry. Uh -huh. You see some of the standbys, uh, uh, you know, Jimmy Smith's, uh, Edward James Olmos, uh, Jennifer Lopez, who's an up-and-coming actor at this point, uh, but also Constance Marie in an early role. She would later go on and, and uh, co-star in the George Lopez show. Um, but uh, a number of folks who have really been the mainstay of uh, Latino independent film. Mm -hmm. You have Ginny Gago, you have Enrique Castillo, and the person who's without a doubt the patron saint of Chicano cinema, Lupe Ontiveros. She's always amazing in every role that she has. Uh, she's completely underappreciated. She has a really nice role in this Character film. actress or yes. leading lady? Uh, character actress, uh, but just uh, really a, dyna a dynamic presence uh, in every film that she's in. Well, let's see the film. It sounds intriguing. Here it is with a cast that includes Jimmy Smith, Isai Morales, Jennifer Lopez, and Edward James Olmos, who is both in the film and narrates it. Here is My Family. That's quite a film. And I'm here with the man who selected it for us to be part of our look at Latino images and films, Sean Noriega, professor, author, and terrific co-host. Uh, that seems uh, slightly familiar. Is that from another film, that yeah. ending? Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, the ending is actually an homage to Sai Ajit Rai's The World of Opu in 1959. And in fact, the whole storyline for Jimmy Smith's uh, character uh, it was also named Jimmy. Interesting. Uh, is taken from that film. And it's, it's really interesting because here you have a, a, a Mexican American filmmaker who's doing an homage to one of the classics of world cinema, but it's, he's also making it work for his film. It's a very right. powerful emotional scene of, of a father trying to reconnect with his son and the son's anger. Uh, at the father and his his willingness to try to contain that and to to move on. Everybody's so good in that movie. Jimmy Smith is terrific. It's it, you know it was by far just a knockout performance for him. It, it was the kind of star performance that that I think everybody knew he was capable of. He just absolutely delivered in this film and it's widely noted uh, in, in all of the all of the reviews for this film. Uh, it's interesting with Jimmy Smith. He, he's uh, been around. He's been such a presence in American culture from L.A. law onwards. He would go on to uh, play a congressman in the West Wing, and just as the series winding down, he becomes the first Latino president in 2006, and they end the series. And I can't tell you how upset I was. It was like, <laughs> wait a minute, <laughs> we're just about to get a Latino president, at least on TV. You know? Exactly. It's been such a pleasure having you here this month, going oh, through I've these movies. Enjoyed and it I, greatly. The, the, you've introduced me to several movies I hadn't seen before, and you have such an interesting insights. Now you, you're working all the time as a professor. At UCLA. Yeah, I have a day job, and yeah. um, I, I uh, teach in the Cinema and Media Studies program 
uh, at UCLA. How so long have you been doing that? I've been doing that since 1992. It's, right. uh, time has crept up on me, but I've, I'm, I'm getting close to 20 I don't see any gray hair, so it must work on I pulled right. them out. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. And then you're also involved with your Cinema Center. Uh, I run the Chicano Studies Research Center, which is actually celebrating its 40th year uh, this year, in 2009. And it's a comprehensive center. It has uh, a library and an archive, the only standalone archive in its field uh, in the country, uh, an academic press. Uh, we publish uh, anywhere from four to six books a year. We have research uh, projects uh, covering almost all the disciplines and uh, community partnerships. We try to make sure that what we're doing in the academy has some relevance to the community and to the public as well. Uh, and I've been doing that for seven years. Uh, I love it. It's a really good chance to uh, work across a number of disciplines, not just film studies. Great. Thanks so much for being here. We really appreciate it. Oh, thank you. It's nice to have you part of the TCM family. Oh, thank you. It's been a delight. And you, please stick around because we also have another movie coming up that looks at Latino images. This one's a Western from 1958, starring Sterling Hayden.